here in the Caatinga biome, in the north of Bahia State in Brazil, a type of vegetation I'm passionate about, full of cacti, thorny trees, small trees, and people. Anyone who thinks that the Caatinga has few birds is completely mistaken. There are lots of cool birds in the Caatinga, you see. There are 442 species of birds in the Caatinga, and if we consider the vegetation of the enclaves, that number rises to almost 550 species. In other words, there are more birds in the Sertão Nordestino alone than in many countries in Europe and the Middle East. And so, now the day is a little cloudy, it's almost 9 o'clock in the morning, and yet there are lots of birds singing. Oh, striped-backed antbird, red-shouldered spine-tail, what a cool name. Striped-backed antbird. Here in this region where I am, which is Canudos, a Brazilian municipality, here lives the indigo macaw, also called Lear's macaw, which is the semi-arid macaw. Indigo macaw is one of the jewels of the Caatinga. In fact, it is one of the few species exclusive to this biome. Endemic to the north of Bahia, these macaws explore the semi-arid in search of fruits and seeds, such as those of the mandacaru, facero, brauna, and above all, licuri, which is the species' main source of food, which explains the bird's limited distribution. And you can't talk about the birds of the semi-arid without mentioning the red-cowled cardinal. Scientific name Paroaria dominicana, this little bird is everywhere. There wasn't a place I visited that didn't have a red-cowled cardinal. It attracts attention not only because of its beauty, but also because of its melodic song. It's wonderful to see these birds singing and coloring the ground, although it doesn't resemble a rooster at all, absolutely nothing. Here in this region it is called the prairie rooster. During the reproductive period, the prairie cock sings a lot at dawn, and as a result, ancient people, upon hearing the species singing, often before sunrise, sometimes at the same times as domestic roosters crowing, ended up associating the bird with the rooster's crowing time, hence the name prairie cock a dawn singer in the countryside of the semi-arid. It's always exciting when I hear the vocalization of the great Xenops, Megaxenops parnaguay.
one of the treasures of this biome, a bird that is only found in the northeast, one of the species most sought after by bird watchers who visit the Caatinga. Always solitary or in pairs, it is an insectivorous bird with a specialized beak, half curved upwards in the shape of a wedge. A very interesting adaptation for removing the bark from branches and leaves in search of insects. And apart from the rarity of endemism, it's a cute little bird, isn't it? Our birding continues. Let's look for some other bird species here in this vegetation semi-arid. The spot-backed puff bird, which is well known in this area, is recognized for its unique nesting behavior of digging deep holes in ravines. This fascinating little bird is also known for its frequent singing in the late afternoon. And the spot-backed puff bird is famous for its calm behavior. It generally remains motionless, perched in the tree as a camouflage strategy. Its feathers are discreet, often going unnoticed by people. More than 10 species of woodpeckers live in the Caatinga, from the tiny spotted piculate, which measures just 10 centimeters in length. Even the crimson-crested woodpecker, Campephilus melanolucos, which vocalizes and drums through the trees of the Sertão, one of the largest woodpeckers in the Northeast. And there they are, the indigo macaw, in the rural area of Euclides da Cunha, eating licuri coconuts. They eat here, but they sleep and breed on the wonderful sandstone walls of the Canudos Biological Station and the Rasso da Catarina Ecological Station, a few kilometers from here. There's even a complete video here on the channel telling the entire history and ecology of this species, conservation projects, and the differences between this macaw and another species of blue macaw which lives in the Pantanal and Cerrado, especially because they are two different species of blue macaw, okay? It distresses me to see these macaws perched on power lines. If these birds simultaneously touch their tails or any other part of their bodies to a power pole or something grounded, electrocution is a certainty. This is a common risk for large birds, mammals and other animals. And in the case of macaws, it's even more worrying as they are an endangered species. But this time nothing happened. I got closer so they could fly away. Another pistacid common in the Bahia and Caatinga is the cactus parakeet, which can be found throughout the biome and in parts of the Corrado from northern Piauí to Minas Gerais. While I was filming the red-cowled cardinal among the chickens in a backyard, a group of cactus parakeets appeared in the bushes, attracted by the flowers. This parakeet has a versatile diet, feeding on flowers, buds, seeds and fruits of different tree species from the Caatinga. You have just heard one of the voices of the northeastern hinterland, the Caatinga Cacholote, a large noisy bird common throughout the Caatinga. It sings as soon as it dawns, but it can also sing at any time of the day, often as a duet. It's a very famous bird because of its nests. The nests of this species are huge, built with large branches and twigs, and can measure more than a meter and a half in length. White-naped jay, also called cancão, is another common voice of the Caatinga. They are frequent visitors to the backyards of houses, eating corn and other food left out for the chickens and domestic animals.
The birds of the Caatinga in northern Bahia are incredible, right? This is just a small sample of the diversity of species found in northeastern Brazil. If you like this video, please like it. If you're not subscribed, subscribe to the channel because there are new videos here every week, okay? So that's it. Thank you very much and see you in the next video.